Hello, welcome to Module 5. In Module 5, we're going to be having a look at financial modelling. And in this module, we're going to be having a look at financial modelling as a decision-making tool. We will have a look at discounted cash flows and the time value of money. We're going to be having a look at discount rates, indicators of economic viability, cash flow modelling, and making investment decisions. And that means project evaluation and capital budgeting. What we've been talking about here in these, economic, uh, these indicators of economic viability are discrete values that come out of a financial model. In other words, in, in what I've been sharing with you now is, is one specific value for net present value and one specific internal rate of return for the project. But we need to get more sophisticated than that in the real world. And so we have what we term sensitivity analysis. And if you have a look at the, the slide that I now have on the screen, you will see what I'm talking about. On the left-hand side are all the variables coming into our financial model. And the outcome of the financial modeling process is one discrete value for net present value. Whereas we know that those inputs have, have a, a range of variables and are conditional upon a number of things. So we can't assume a discrete value coming in because it's just not real world. So if you have a look down below, you'll see that we have a range of, of input variables. And what that does when we employ sensitivity analysis, if you look on the right hand side, the result from our financial modeling exercise then becomes a projected range of net present values. So we can test the underlying assumptions and the sensitivity with, within which we think those are, are going to, to vary. And then that will give us the probable range of net present values rather than a single discrete value.